Hi viewers. I hope that you are doing great. Today we are going to design a a custom fit swimming goggles uh, by using the Revopoint small pop scanner. And uh, now we are going to scan a face. On this face we are going to design something uh, which is a customized swimming goggle using the natural curves uh, obtained from the scanner scanning will take a little bit longer part because I need to scan it from every angle I believe right now it is not capturing the beard and mustache area because that is a little bit black and that is the most common problem for all of the scanners available available in the market that they have a problem in scanning blacks but right now we are going to scan uh, the whole face each and every details starting from the eyes and stuff so now the scanning has been complete and now we are going to convert it into a mesh this will take a little bit longer time so i have skipped the video as you can see over here the beard area and the mustache area is empty but right now we are not going to need it so i'm just converting it into uh, the proper mesh I think so it's uh, right now it's looking quite good it's looking fine for me so I'm going to save the model in uh, OBJ format as I told you earlier that OBJ is my preferable uh, mesh format because it saves the material as well but right now we are not interested in saving the material so I'm going to save the file in uh, OBJ format okay so I have imported this model into mesh mixer which is a 3 uh, 3d uh, software and it is uh, freely available on Autodesk website as you can see over here our scanner actually captured a lot of detailed area uh, around the eyes and nose part which is the required area right now but it is quite uh, distorted so I just need to smoothen it out so I'm using the uh, smoothing brush tool and uh, I'm going to smoothen out the whole area specifically talking about the eyes nose and this area this area is going to be used for designing the customized fit swimming goggles so I think so this area looks fine now and we are continuing the smoothing effect as a matter of fact I have used the shrink smooth brush which is going to compress the uh, polygons in the required area so a little bit more touching and as you can see over here now the area is quite good and now I'm going to use the adaptive reduce brush to just uh, simplify the polygons and uh, probably the strength near 46 would be good as you can see over here the polygons are going to be much bigger but it is actually retaining the whole shape so that is what we need right now actually the designing part is majorly concerned about the polygonal modeling so we just want to make sure that our polygons are quite good in size and so it's so that it will take less memory while designing so i'm going to transform the scanned area into the bigger polygons while preserving the shape now i think so that polygons are looking good yes it looks fine from the other end so this is a small part which is I'm going to refill again and uh, for the refilling and other stuff you can just consult the YouTube tutorials that how to use the mesh mixer for uh, refining the scan I think so this looks nice now I'm going to import a glass frame which I have earlier made in 3d studio max 
so I'm going to adjust that particular frame on my face right now as you can see over here the glass the design glasses are too big so I'm going to scale it down according to the shape of my face <laughs> it looks funny by the way right now but it will be okay after scaling it down so I have scaled it down and uh, right now I think so that the sides are quite bigger so let me firstly place it into my nose and yeah sides are a little bit bigger so I just need to adjust it first and then scale the size So once the angles and each and everything are into the proper shape I think so it's looking good right now but still uh, the glass frame is quite wider so I'm going to scale it horizontally a little bit so that it can fit on the face yeah it looks uh, good quite now okay fine so from every angle once uh, you need to check out that whether your frame actually fits on the nose and the face area and you need to adjust it a little bit once you are satisfied with the performance then you are going to select it and extrude it so I'm going to extrude it so that it can cross the whole face area and I will just apply a little bit of hardening so that the edges are going to be smooth I think so now the whole glass frame area is going to cross my scan data I think so it looks good once I am good enough then I am going to apply the boolean difference command and as you can see over here the remaining part is left with the uh, my scanned area and uh, the frame glasses I need to remove the inner part and going to smoothen out the outer surfaces because right now it is a little bit different a little bit not right so I'm going to smoothen out the area and refine the polygons once I remesh it again as you can see over here the, now the polygons are properly distributed so a little bit of adjustment with the values and I think so it looks quite good now now for the uh, outer areas the outer area is a little bit rough so I'm going to smooth it by using the shrink smooth brush because you need to smoothen it out so that uh, finally during the modeling it won't create any problem So it is just to make sure that whatever the problem our polygons are having you need to adjust it right now using 3d mesh mixer because it is much much difficult to do it right in uh, 3d studio max now i'm going to refine the polygons once i'm satisfied with the performance of polygons right now it is i'm using the adaptive uh, a reduction brush to uh, reduce the required polygons while retaining the shape as we have done earlier with the scan as well so once we are satisfied with the performance I'm going to export this whole model in OBJ format and then I'm going to import this format model into 3ds max once the file is imported with the proper setting as you can see over here now this is the scan data and now we are going to apply our uh, design modeling over here to make it look like uh, swimming goggles I have already converted into editable poly and then using the insert command I am going to reduce the selected area the selected area is not by group it's basically by uh, polygons I'm going to extrude it inwards so that it will look like a frame once it is done now I'm going to extrude the outer part
now before doing anything on the outer part i need to convert into two editable poly first once you are satisfied with the placements of polygons you need to select all the polygons and then apply the extrude command in 3ds max I have accidentally converted into 3D mesh before so I need to convert into editable poly again and then set the right values for the extrusion part. So all the values over here are presented in millimeters so it is totally up to you this is just to show you that how uh, how this whole design thing works you can decide your own values afterwards. 2 to 3 millimeters into uh, would be more than enough to uh, print it into uh, with using a 3D printer. So I have just scaled it a bit and uh, move it backwards so it would look like a taper frame outside. So once I am satisfied with the frame, I think so it looks good. Now I am going to apply. Uh, to produce some holes for the band to be placed around the around the head region so these are going to be the proper holes to be inserted so once the position of holes are good enough then i'm going to remove this these holes from the swimming goggles Yeah, so after removing as you can see over here that the swimming goggles has proper cut out for the bands to be fit in and now I'm going to apply some material you can uh, afterward render it but just to make sure that uh, how the material will look like uh, into the rendering window I'm just giving you the idea by applying some standard materials so that is totally up to you that how you are going to design it afterwards so I just changed the color to have a good idea that how these glasses will look after printing so once you are satisfied with the things you can just uh, revolve it around once you are satisfied with the things then you are ready to go and try to 3d print it probably you can export this one into stl thank you so much for watching